Here they are, the three Abrahamic Semitic religions. Now, why don't I speak about all the other religions? Because I have very, very little knowledge of them. So it's better if I speak of the things I know very well. By the way, as I always say, I don't just read about it. I experience it in person. I follow it. I've done them all. So, the subject of this video is how much should we read daily? Now, here's uh, the Hebrew scriptures. Here's the book the Christians use, which is, uh, it includes the Hebrew scriptures Plus it has the Gospels, the Letters to the Churches, the Book of Acts, Revelation. This particular one, the Daily Walk Bible, uh, has it divided up so you can get through the whole Bible in one year, each year. And this is a, a, a Quran. I have lots of notes. Do you know what these notes are? These are notes that show all the verses, not all of them, but a lot of them, that are the same exact teaching as in, as in the Bible. See? So, my personal opinion on how much of the Bible to read, or whatever your religious book is, is you read it the first thing in the morning, you read it on an empty stomach, drink water of course. Why am I saying this? You don't want a large amount of your circulation to go to your digestive system. You want it all up here, devoted up here so you can concentrate. These are important things, how to live. Anyway, so in the morning, before you eat, and how much you should read, I think you should read it until you get something out of it. Even if it's one word, one thought, one verse, one, one lesson, one, one philosophical idea. You know, you know, one day <laughs> I didn't eat breakfast till about 3 p.m. Um, <laughs> because I, I, just, I just kept reading until I found something that was new and important or, or a good reminder, something I could dwell on all day, something that would help me through the day. Um, but most of the time, you know, it's just, you know, an hour or two, something like that. Um, there are people that find it very hard to read. They're not accustomed to it. You know, maybe they're just accustomed to reading, you know, magazines, newspapers, whatever. So you start out small. Where should you start out? Well, the easiest thing is Proverbs because there's 31 Proverbs and you know, you could read one a day, right? For each month. Um, also it depends on what you're going through. Are you having very, very hard times? Then you'll need something comforting like the Psalms. If you're suffering enormously, I would suggest reading the book of Job. By the way, his actual name is Job. Job. No J in Hebrew. So the book of Job, it's not, it's not just um, him suffering and his thoughts about it. It's it's very poetic. I, I think it might be the most poetic book, the most philosophically beautiful book in the whole Bible. Another good idea is to start with the book of Genesis, you know, those famous words, in the beginning, be reshit. Be, B E, means in. Be reshit, the beginning, in the beginning. So, there's so many things in, in language that are directly from, from Scripture. So, 
you're actually saying scripture every day and you don't even know it because so many phrases we use um, that come from there. Uh, Shakespeare has a lot of that in his writings. And uh, speaking of phrases, my family had phrases and I just thought they were being cute or they made up something interesting or funny to say. But, you know, like the last, the last 10 years, I'm hearing these phrases in old movies and old songs. <laughs> and, and is that important? Yes, because, <laughs> because it gives more meaning. For instance, my mother, you know, I, I said to her once, well, you said you were going to do such and such, and you didn't do it. So she says to me, so sue me. <laughs> now, at the time, I thought, my goodness, you know, what a thing to say. And, you know, like, I don't know, maybe five or eight years ago, no, longer than that, maybe 20 years ago, I saw um, this movie, uh, Guys, you know, do Guys and Dolls, yeah. And there's a song in that movie. And this song is, is called So Sue Me. And the, the verse in the song is, So sue me, I love you. You know, it's a woman complaining about her fiancé. You know, he still hasn't married her. And he's singing, So sue me, I love you. You know, so so my mother saying to me, so sue me. You know, it wasn't exactly as bad as I thought. It was like, you know, so what? I love you, you know. <laughs> so, and um, one other thing about uh, phrases that people say, and later on you find out what they really mean. Um, when I was uh, getting to be an older teenager, I didn't want to be hugged by the family, you know, you, you go into a house and you have to go around the table and hug ten, 10 people. I just, you know, I had enough of that. So my, one of my uncles, the one, the piano player comes in the door, of my mother's house and he starts to hug me. And I said, no, 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 no. And, and he starts uh, singing, please, no squeeze. And, <laughs> you know, please, no squeeze. And I thought, well, gee, what a great comedian he is. That, that's really funny. And a few years, well, many years later, I hear this song. I think it's by Louis Prima. And he's singing, please, you know, squeeze the banana. You know, <laughs> you know, talking about a guy who sells fruit. And uh, his customers always come in and squeeze the fruit and, and ruin it, you know. So language is so important and so wonderful. And, and and dangerous. You could say things that somebody takes the wrong way and they don't speak to you for the rest of your life. And you didn't even mean anything. So let's be generous when we hear something we don't understand or we don't think is nice. You know, you don't know what the person's going through. You don't know what the real meaning is. Um, especially these days, uh, they change the meaning of words. Um, I, I said to uh, somebody in a dental office once um, about this movie. Um, I used the word gay, but I meant happy. And she just looked at me like, you know, I was coming out to society. You know. So um, be careful. Be careful with everything especially what you say.